Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part five. So we'll see the innings 13.3. So construct a quadrilateral LEAN where LE is 3.5 centimeter, EA is 6.5 centimeter, angle L is 75, angle E is 105 degree and angle A is 120 degree. So this is the rough sketch of it. You can see this angle L, this is 75, angle E is 105, and angle A is 120 degree, and this L is taken as 3.5 centimeter. So now let us see the steps of construction. So this is actually the constructed part. I have done this on a piece of paper and then pasted it over here. So your construction should be like this. So now see here. This is LE is taken this as 3.5 centimeter. So now the next step is from point L to an arc, cut this arc and label X and Y. So you can see here, this is the arc drawn. You can take a, any radius you can take and draw an arc here. And from here, what you will do, you will, the same measurement, whatever you are taken from here, you will take with the same, on a compass, whatever the measurement you have taken for this one, same thing you will keep your compass over here and draw an arc over here. Same distance you are not going to change. Again, you are going to keep your compass over here and draw another arc over here. And for the convenience here, I have labeled this as X and Y. So now the next step is taking X as center, draw an arc. Again, taking Y as center, draw another arc and draw a line. And this is 90 degree. So this one, you will take this as excess center and you will draw one arc. So now this arc is drawn means you need another arc over here as well. So then this line is completed. So you will, again, you will take this as center and draw the another arc. So this is the point of intersection. So this is 90 degree. So this is done. But the thing is we don't want 90 degree. So always this one, this arc is going to be the first one. This is going to be 60. The middle one is 90 and this is going to be 120. So when you cut this one, that means this is 60, this is 90 and this is 120. So we want here 75 degree. So what will you do from Y, draw one arc and from C, draw another arc, draw a line and this is 75 degree. So now you will, from C, you will draw one arc. You will take this C, this is important. From C, you will draw an arc. And again, what will you do? The next, they say, that is C. From Y, you will take one arc and the C, another one. So from this one. So these two points you are going to take and you are going to, from here, you will draw this arc and this from Y, you are going to draw another arc. And then what are we going to do? You are going to, this is the point of intersection and you are going to draw a line. So when you measure this, this should be, 75 degree you can measure and you can check it it should be 75 degree so this part is done now we will go for the next one next step is from point e follow same procedure as step three so you have taken this one you can check from here to here whatever is done you will follow the same process so can you see here this is followed the same process as the arc is drawn then the same thing equal distance we have taken these two arc Taking D as center, we will draw one arc. Taking E as center, we are going to draw this other arc. This is the point of intersection and you are going to draw one line. This will be 90 degree. So now we want, that is, what is given here? Angle E is 105. So this should be 105. So what are you going to do here? We need 90, already we got 90 plus 45. That is, sorry, 90. Plus this one, 105 minus this one is going to be 15. So you need 15 extra. So because that is 105. So what will you do? Again from E, draw one arc. From F, draw another arc. And draw then this is 105. So what will you do? From D, you are going to draw one arc. Sorry, from here F, you are going to draw one arc. The From E, you are going to draw another arc. And then you are going to join this one. So this is 90 and this is going to be 15 degree. 
so you can check this from here to here this should be 105 degree so now what we are going to do now this this 75 is done this 105 is done so next part is that is you have to take angle a this angle a as 120 so for that what we have to do is we will take first thing we will take here because it is given 6.5 centimeter is given so what is given here ea is 6.5 centimeter so here ea means we are going to go this way is 6.5 centimeter so already we got this line so you will take a compass on that you will measure this 6.5 centimeter and here 6.5 centimeter comes over here so you are going to draw an arc so you can see this point so this point so for again what will you do you are going to draw an arc over here so again you are going to divide it into two parts so this and this one you are going to divide it into two parts take taking the same thing whatever you are taking this distance the same distance is going to be you are going to draw this two arc so now what are you going to do you know whenever these two arcs are drawn so this first arc is of 60 degree and the second arc is always of 120 degree in between this is going to be 90 degree so we want here one exactly 120 degree so what are we going to do here look at this carefully so this already this is the second arc this is of 120 degree so we are going to join this arc this arc and this a point where we got this we cut this as a 6.5 this was point a so this two thing this one this arc and this arc we are going to join it and we will draw a straight line so after joining a straight line this was this line was already there so this the point of this intersection this is going to be n so we got here l e a n this is the quadrilateral so this construction this you can write it in your own words so this is what is written you can also change it and write it in your own words so same thing is written here joint a and second arc and you the len is the required quadrilateral so now let us see how to solve this one construct a quadrilateral pln where pl is 5 centimeter la is 7 centimeter angle p is 100 degree angle l is 75 and angle a is 70 degree so this is the rough sketch for it so here pl 5 centimeter this is 7 la and these are the angles which are given over here so now let us see the steps of construction so already have drawn this figure that is the construction i have done it this on the paper and pasted it over here so your construction also should be the same because the measurements are taking the exact one so first thing what will you do we are going to take pl is 5 centimeter so this pl is 5 centimeter and then the next step is keep protector on p and mark this 100 degree so this is on p you will take it and mark this as 100 degree so now the next step is from l take suitable radius and draw an arc and cut this arc into two arcs that mark this two arcs as a and b so you will take from l you will take one this you will draw an arc taking any radius same distance whatever you take here you will take the same one and from here to here you will draw one arc another the same from here to here you will draw this another arc without changing the distance so now what will you do here keeping the this one compass over here you will draw one arc over here from here you will take and you will draw the arc over here so the point of intersection is here so you are going to draw one line so this will be 90 degree but here we want 75 degree so now what are you going to do the next step is from l take suitable radius and draw an arc and cut this arc into two arcs that is what i said now taking a as center draw an arc taking b as center draw another arc join line and this will make an angle 90 degree that is already explained now from c draw an arc and form from a another arc so from c and 
Okay, so from here you will take, you will, you will take this C point. So I have taken this one, whatever this, after drawing this line, whatever was the point, what was intersecting over here, this I consider this as C. From here you will draw one arc, and again from A you will draw the another arc. So now you will join this line. So this is going to be, from here to here, this is going to be 75 degree. So in this one, always you have to remember the first arc you are going to draw is 60 degree. This is already 90 degree and this is 120 degree. So we wanted 75. So we had to take from here and we draw one arc. And the ne next point is here and we draw another arc here and we join this line. So now what we can do after joining here, what is given here? From point L, taking 7 centimeter, draw an arc and my point is A. So from here, you have to take, let me put here seven centimeter. And you will, from here, you will, from this one, from point L, taking seven centimeter, draw an arc, and you have to point this, mark this as one. From here, you will take seven centimeter on your compass, seven centimeter and draw an arc over here. This line was already drawn. So now you can see the cutting over here. So now what you can do here, you can join this line. So that is P L A on N from point A with the help of protector take 70 degree. So from here you can take for here as 70 degree and you can join A N and P L A N is the required quadrilateral. From here you can keep the protector here. And this is 70 degree. The next one, construct a quadrilateral PQRS, where PQ is equal to QR is 6 centimeter, and angle Q is 135 degree, and angle R is 60 degree, and angle S is 55 degree. So for this one, what you have to do, instead of taking PQ here, you can take QR here. Start with QR. So this is the rough sketch. Because if we take PQ over here, start from here, you won't get the correct quadrilateral. So you can start from here, taking as QR. And now this is the rough sketch and we'll see the steps of construction. So this construction is a bit like lengthy, but you can also write this in your own words. So I have, to make it simple, I have added some extra steps. So you can also write it in your own words. So first thing what you are going to do, you are going to start here. So this is the actual construction. QR you are going to take, this is six centimeter. So now we'll start with this point, this Q. So you are going to take a suitable radius and you are going to draw this arc. Whatever this measurement is, same thing you will take and you will start from here and uh, start from here and draw another arc here. Then taking this point, the same distance, you are going to draw one arc. So now taking this, I uh, label this as A and B. You will start from A and taking suitable radius, you will draw one arc. Again from B, you will take and you will draw another arc. And this is the point of intersection. This is the point of intersection. You are going to draw one line. So this is 90 degree. And always what you have to see here, this first arc is of 60 degree. This is 90 degree and this is going to be, this will be 120. So now look at this step, taking A as center, draw an arc, taking B as center, draw an arc and mark intersection as D and from C, what you have to do now, from C you will do, we want 135 degree. So 100, to get 135 degrees, so now this you know from year to year, this is 90 degree. So nine, this is already 90 degree and this part is 90 degree. So 135 means 90 plus 45 is going to be one, 135. So you need from year to year, you need a half part of it. So what will you do? You will take the center here and you will draw one, draw one arc here. And the other one you are not going to take from A, but you are going to take from E and draw another arc here. So what you get exactly in the middle, you get this one. And when you measure this, this is going to be 135. So see here, once I'll repeat here, from this C, you will draw an arc. 
and then again from E you're going to draw another arc. So this is very important. So what I have done, this line I have extended. After Q, this line I have extended. So it becomes easier to know where to start from. So now what will you do? Because it is given PQ is equal to QR, that is given as six centimeter. So from Q, you will take with the help of your compass, you will take six centimeter and then you are going to draw one arc over here. So you can cut this line over here. So now let us go for the this one arc here so you will take this center and you will draw an arc so now what will you do again what will you do the so you are going to cut it into two parts this and this one equal distance whatever you are taking the distance for this one the same thing you will take and you will cut this one so taking this gs center you will draw an arc hs center you are going to draw another arc this is the point of intersection and now you are going to join a line so this already this one I have just written for the under better understanding. So now this is the this is 90 degree. So now what we want here is so this is what we are talking from R and G. You have to draw a line. Mark intersection as F. So this is already done. Take six centimeter that is other from R draw an arc. Follow same as for step number two that is what I have done taking ninety degree draw a line from P. So now what will you do after getting this one? You got this point over here. So now we want this one as you you got this point. This is the intersection. So what are you going to do? You are going to draw a line over here. After getting this one, you are going to draw a line here. And from this P and this intersection, you are going to draw a line. So this is I. So now what you can see here, P, Q, R, S, this is the required quadrilateral. So later on you can check, this will be 55 degree. So this is as the angle S is given as 55 degree. So this step is important for joining the line, this two one. So by this one, I have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.